How's it going YouTube? It's Sean here, back today to give you as a review of the Air Jordan 1 Low in the Gym Red colorway. This pair dropped recently here in Canada on footlocker.ca. They retail for a price of $90 USD or $130 here in Canada, and the official colorway for this shoe is Gym Red and White. As far as Air Jordan 1 Lows go, this specific colorway has been pretty popular, and a big chunk of that reason is because it's very similar to the Jordan 1s that came in the New Beginnings pack. With the resale prices on the pack being ridiculously high, for most people, these lows are a very good substitute. So that's why it's really been no surprise that this shoe has been selling out wherever they drop. Diving straight into the shoe, the upper of the sneaker is constructed using a combination of white and gym red colored leather. On the toe box, we have this white leather which feels very synthetic, and to the touch it feels very stiff and very rigid. And because of that, I suspect it's going to crease pretty badly. Wrapping around the edge of the toe box, we have this gym red colored leather, which feels equally as stiff and equally as synthetic. This red leather runs up the center of the shoe where the eyelets are, and then below this, we have that white leather once again, and it's contrasted with a red swoosh. Surrounding the back heel, for the most part, this is entirely done in gym red, and we have the Air Jordan Wings logo embroidered in red in the center. These come with a flat white style lace, and to my surprise, they don't give you a secondary pair of red laces. Underneath the laces, we have a padded white nylon tongue. We have the small piece of nylon with the number 23 embroidered in white, and the tongue is finished off with a red jumpman. Pulling up the insoles, these come with your standard red colored Jordan brand insole, and we have a jumpman logo on the heel in white. The upper of these Jordan 1 lows sits atop this all white midsole, and encapsulated within the shoe but not visible to the eye, we do have Nike Air Sole technology. Turning the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your standard Air Jordan 1 outsole, and this is entirely done in a gym red colored rubber. We have the circular traction pattern on the forefoot and Nike branding right in the center. From a sizing standpoint, my feet measures as a true size 10 slightly on the wider side, and these definitely fit true to size. In my opinion, there's no need to go up a half size, they fit perfectly well in your normal true size, so that's what I would recommend that you stick with. Next up, from a comfort standpoint, really not much to say about this pair. It feels like any of your other Jordan 1s, so it's going to have a very stiff feeling underfoot. There's not too much from a cushioning standpoint, but it's a very stable and a very sturdy shoe overall. Last but not least, in terms of the quality on the sneaker, as I mentioned from the start, the leather they used on the upper felt very synthetic and it had a very cheap feel to it. But to be honest, it's not much of a surprise. A lot of the Jordan 1s that they've been releasing sort of have a similar feel. And I guess considering the low price point on the sneaker, it's to be expected. With all that out of the way, let's lace up these Jordan 1 Low Gym Reds and I'll show you guys how this looks on feet. Color-wise, I'd say this is a very clean looking sneaker. The red against the white really stands out, and I really like the contrast. However, because I already own the high version in the New Beginnings pack, to me there's really no point of owning this one. Basically 9 times out of 10, every time I'm looking for a white and red sneaker, I'll probably go for the highs. And to be honest, this pair is probably just going to be sitting in my closet. However, for those that don't have the New Beginnings pack, this is a very solid shoe, except for the poor quality. The color blocking and the fit of the shoe are spot on, and it's definitely a very loud and head-turning sneaker on feet. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this Jim Red Air Jordan 1 Low. Is this a cop or a drop for you? And what are your overall thoughts on the Jordan 1 Low silhouette in general? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at sgo8. Check out my Twitter at sean.go and visit my website at seango.ca. So until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.